Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Take the Fear Out of the Gear with me, Mr Chumley Warner. And me, Jason Bangers. Right, this is about the UG. I'm Mine. laughing because we've done about 10, 20 takes of this. We've had nothing but gremlins, have we? Yeah, take 2004. Yeah. This is about the UG 1910B graphics drawing tablet. Roll credits. So, as Simon said, the UG, right? It's a great piece of kit, but if you're like me, you might think that it's standalone, i.e. that it's a tablet which is 19 inches big, which has its own battery supply, power supply, yeah. and you may be led into thinking that it comes with its own drawing software. Mm. And you may think that it's as easy as plugging it in, switching it on, going around your mum and dad's or your mates and just drawing away. No, you won't be doing any of that. Not for a while anyway. Um, it's basically empty. There's nothing on it, right? It doesn't come with a battery, so it's not power supplied. It's a thing in the description where it says battery included, but that battery is for the pen. Okay, the pen has a built-in battery. There is no battery in this thing. And you plug it in just like you would any monitor or laptop. So uh, software, there is no software built in it and there is no hard drive on it. It is basically just a monitor stroke mouse. So the reason it won't work straight away is because... Simon, well, first let's talk about connections, shall we? Yes. Well, the first connection, the most important one, from the back you've got the video lead, which goes into a VGA socket. However, if you've got a new laptop like this one, you'll need a VGA to HDMI converter, which is what we've got running here. Uh, obviously, the, the most important thing is, it's got, it comes with a power supply, put the power supply in. And the third thing, this blue cable here in the back here, that's the USB. So it basically means the computer can communicate with the touch screen and the pen so you can set everything up and that's what you need to do. See, because I, I said to Simon, why is there a USB lead? We've got a VGA going into uh, HDMI, which is just a, a split box connector. And um, of course, uh, so I said, well, you, uh, luckily enough, you'd had a similar experience, hadn't you, yeah. with a touch screen yeah. thing? And you need the USB, just like you would use a USB on a mouse. Because on this pen, you've got left click, right click, plus you've got touch sensitivity for drawing, for width of your line. You can draw lightly and then push heavily for a thicker line, so you can get your calligraphy and stuff nicely. And um, that is where the information goes, down the USB. Um, it's not just a case of plugging it in. Software. It does not come with software. People said to me... Um, the chap who was selling this said, just, just go on Yuji's site and you'll find their um, uh, software for this thing. No, there isn't. There isn't any. Now, this particular piece of software he's showing you here is a little, it's a little critter, don't you know? So oh, yes. Awesome. It, it's called Critter, and I'll spell that for you. That's K for Kilo, R for Romeo, I for Indigo, T for Tango, A for Alpha, Critter. And it's free. And as far as I can see, it's bloody wonderful it's really really good and usable so that's that's the, that's the software you can download um but my pen wouldn't line up yes you need to go onto the ug site and download the driver uh one thing you imagine looking at the list of drivers obviously you want a windows driver the driver at the top of the screen when you see it it just says ug m i can't remember m7 something yeah, this uh, model number's not in there, is it? No, this is a, nine, a 1910B, I think. However, if you look down, a few down, you've got the test driver, which lists this along with the other model at the top of the screen. So basically, you can use the driver at the top of the screen. Uh, that will work with Windows 8, 10, I think it'll work with 7. Uh, so that's all you need to know. It's just a bit confusing when you go onto that page. So just a, just a heads up for you. So why do you need a driver? Because you think well, it's basically a glorified monitor, isn't it? Well, you need the driver so you can set the pen up for the different styles of sensor on there, sensitivity, and for your left and right mouse click on here. That is why you need the driver, because that comes with a calibration setup page for your pen. So it'll put like six stars on the thing and you click on them all and then they disappear. Then you know your pen is dead in line with it. It's essential you need that 
um, if you don't, then it could go caddy wampus on you and be all over the shop. So, um, well, I think we should show them a little bit of this program, shouldn't we, Simon? What do you think? Yeah, should we get the close up camera yeah. and uh, let's have a look? So, here we are inside the program crit, and there's so many different variations of pens down here pens, brushes, there's, there's loads and loads of it. Um, there you go, it's just rollers, there's just there's tons and tons of it. I won't show you it all. Anyway, I've selected a simple one now. Um, my favourite thing is this this little bit here. Now let's uh, let's make it a bit smaller. Now, when you when you draw something real small, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but you can see the DPI. You can see the dots, and I'm very shaky, and it's really rough, and it's pretty nasty, right? But then when I let go, bosh, it smooths it all out for you. How cool is that? I think that's brilliant. And there's so much stuff like that on here. Um, this one here, it does. Uh, I think it gives you three. So you draw one thing in a corner. Uh, you know what I mean? So you can do like a, you can do spirals and stuff. It's very inspiring. <laughs> Did you get that? Very inspiring. There's an awful lot you can do on here. Anyway, but one thing I do want to show you because um, I didn't know about this until Simon explained it to me. Uh, if you want to use your fill, you know where you paint stuff in. So, for example. If I draw a circle there, Bosch, and then I'll do like a leaf there, another leaf here. This is just 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 for description purposes, okay? Uh, call them the petals. These are the leaves, if you like. Now I'm going to leave one of them with a gap like that, okay? Just to explain something to you. All right. So now we want to paint it in without having to sort of do all of that. So all you do is you select your paint fill pot and get a different colour obviously because we want say green maybe for the leaves. Right. Green, right. So if I tap a leaf it should go green now. Okay. Now you can see that leaf has gone green because it's totally enclosed. But if I hit this leaf here with a gap on it, the whole page will go green. Now you might have had this happen to you before and wonder why. But that is why. Because basically, if there was paint in there, it could run through that gap. And, and that's as simple as that, really. I never knew that. Some knew it, I didn't. So I just wanted to share that with you. I hope it was useful. So anyway, going back to my um, pen. Let's just get that bit there. I'm going to have to select red again, which is there. Uh, let's just fill this thing back in. Da, 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 da. Now I can go and get my paint pot. Uh, which is there, my hand's probably in the way so you can't see it, get the green, which you can see where we was before because there's a good mob there, paint these petals green, and then, I um, don't oh know, a nice yellow maybe for the flowers, and then let's have a, I don't know, a blue maybe for the uh, for the middle, there you go, bosh, so, that's a terrible picture guys, I'm not really an artist, I'm just showing you what you can do. That is a kiddies thing, what you can do with this, have a lot of fun with it. But yeah, it's got so much more, there is so much stuff on here. There's so many different things, uh, I'm still in, I'm still in uh, paint feel, aren't I? There's so many things that you can do, there's so many little gadgety things here. Where you can get like, a, you know, um, sort of like the pencil effect. And it's easy to change the size and the density. You know, um, make it huge, and of course you, you can almost get you can make a sky out of that if you want. And there's, there's so much stuff here. I think that's a this one's a little. There you go. That's just like uh, as if you're airbrushing. It's just just great. Make it smaller, which is airbrush effect. There's low. I mean, I'll tell you, man. This um, this is a great one. It's just this, you know. I rate this program, I think it's really good, and I hope you like it too, and if you've got one of these things, this is kind of what you want for doing uh, artwork on, of course you can make your screen much bigger and smaller, however you want it, and uh, that is about it, I'm going to look at my mate and say, so is there anything else we haven't said about this thing? Yes, <coughs> obviously you can use it for art, Yuji. But the other good thing you can use it for, so if you've got a music program like Reason, uh, you can, so you put your mixing desk, you can split the screen, put your main screen here, you can put your mixing desk on the UG, and then because it's touch screen, 
You can move all your sliders of your faders of your mixing desks. You can move the knobs on your synthesizers. So that's a good use for it. Uh, the other thing is, you can also, say if you've got your Pinnacle editing program that we use, you can use that for moving your timeline, all kinds of stuff, you know, playing, stopping, etc. So it's a good all-round product for lots of different programs. Yeah, and as Simon just said, it is like you've got a physical mixing desk. So, I mean, I can't do any damage to this song. I can just, you know, pick up a fader and do what I want with it. The great thing is the panning knobs, it's just so much easier just to, to do it with this. And um, if you want to solo in place, bosh, it's just like, you can't use your fingers because it, it needs a capacitor resistance type style pen. But, you know, if you want to change the writing on stuff, it's just so easy to do. You know, you can uh, main, bosh, 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 and you can just uh, tap up here and it's just brilliant. Look at that, look. It's so much easier than using a mouse. So, of course, one might buy something like this to do artwork on. But you might also like to know that you can use it for this kind of purpose as well, on any program you like. Something you didn't know, maybe. And if you own one, now you do. I really rate this product. I think it's brilliant. You can get them between 90 to £170 pound on eBay, side. Si. Yeah. And uh, the pens... Ah, eleven pound. You probably need to buy a new pen if you buy one off someone who's had kids and dogs. It's rechargeable. It has a little charger that goes in the top there, and really can't say much. But it's brilliant. Uh, but okay, so what's this video about? Why why are we showing you this video? Why are we making it? Well, it's mainly just so that you don't get too excited about what you're getting because I'm sure that when I was looking that they really, really, absolutely pushed the idea that it was a standalone piece of kit. So we do hope you've enjoyed this very painful episode of Take the Fear Out of the Gear with me, Jason Bangers. And me, Mr Chumley Warner. I oh, will see you next time, Tubes. Do See you next time. <laughs>